Hey guys, welcome to another video. You may have seen me using this knife. Uh, well, this is a BPS Knives B1. As you can see, it comes in a very well made sheath with a dangler. Um, this is, isn't an original unboxed version, this has been used. The knife is a nice fit in the sheath. And there's the knife itself. And as you can see, hoping that's focusing on there. It's a very nice, well-made piece of kit. Uh, the handles are riveted on. They are removable, so you can take the handles off, put liners in it, put new handles in it, or whatever. When you first get them, the handles are, they are sanded, but they're a little bit rough. Um, so I've just given this one an extra sand and uh, an extra coat with uh, linseed oil. And it's now as smooth as the proverbial baby's bottom. You've probably seen me using this in some of the videos. Um, but it is a very, very capable knife. This is uh, a piece of beach. Not a rock piece, I hate, hasten to add. As you may have seen me cutting some of the wood up in some of, some of the recent videos. This piece, however, might be, so we'll see how we go on battening it. But Yep, that piece is rotten. There we go. That's a piece of good solid beach, that. Done quite a bit of this for this knife this weekend. But look at that, no problem at all. You can avoid the knotty bit that is. There's a knot just there, you can just see it. It's just kept causing a little sticky patch for the feathers but there you go no problem at all let's see if we can get some really fine ones And that's for a knife hasn't been sharpened um, that's been used for the past three days uh, cutting battening uh, making temp pegs all kinds of things so yeah really impressed with that uh, the handles are ni a nice shape a nice fit uh, I, I like the shape of the blade on this one uh, the tip has a drop point and as, you can, as, I, as I said, it's a really good quality, good thick 
leather fleece sheath somebody's giggling in the tent there as I said it's a really good quality thick leather sheath um, which you might be able to see because the fire's just decided to smoke but uh, yeah really good quality sheath um, this again isn't quite original uh, this has been waxed and polished uh, they usually come with a dull matte finish on them um, but I've waxed it and used some boot polish on that just to shine it up a little bit and just give it that bit make it that little bit more personal well, let me just run through some specs for you not these specs, these specs so So this is the BPS B1. Um, these knives are made in Ukraine by a Ukrainian company. Uh, this knife is available in stainless steel or carbon steel. The blade, uh, the whole, the entire length from the tip to the end of the handle is 9.5 inches or 230 millimeters. The length of the blade is 4.33 inches or 110 millimeters. The blade thickness is 0.1 of an inch or three millimeters. The handle length is 4.7 inches. The weight without the sheath is 4.9 ounces or 140 grams. The weight with the sheath is 8.8 .8 ounces or 250 grams. Um, and these, depending which model you you want, they sell for between 35 pa uh, 35 80 dollars or 40 50 dollars. To my mind, that sheath is worth that. So if you get one of these, you get an absolute bargain. And as I said. It is a very, very capable knife. I have worked this one hard this weekend and it's just done everything I've thrown at it. So if you're looking for a good quality bushcraft knife that won't break the bank, have a look at BPS knives. That is the B1. I will be doing some reviews of other BPS knives. Um, but that is the B1, that, that's the one, uh, that's my personal favourite. But uh, as I say, I will be doing some more reviews on on uh, other knives that they make. But I uh, hope you found that interesting, and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care, bye for now.